going on everyone? One more video of these in, I completely forgot on my SD card. This is me ripping it up with One Cut Media on Highway 86. Highway 86 is pretty cool because it's a gateway to a whole piece of Whistler no one really knows. It's behind the peak chairlift, goes down and opens up to an area of blues and blacks, wide open vistas. It's really, really cool. I wanted to check this out with One Cut Media because although it's completely Mark trails it is on the back of the mountain and is kind of remote so if I was to get lost or go somewhere weird it'd be kind of a sketch and I wanted to ski this really bad for my son later on and uh, I thought it'd be a good way for him to have an introduction to steep skiing because of how steep these areas are and it's nice and wide and open so if he happens to bail or whatever he's just sliding for a while there's no trees or cliffs or nothing. I asked Rick to take some photos of me because quite honestly as a dad no one takes pictures of me I'm always doing all the camera work. So I was really thankful for that, and I got the most wicked awesome ski poster. Nice, man. That piece we went down there was uh, black slash blue. I've seen it listed as two different things. And now we're on to, uh, it's called a blue run. It really is kind of like a green. I think it's a blue run because it's narrow and you get going kind of fast, not really. Um, other than that, probably just to keep the people uh, that would be going on greens away from this area because it is so much more remote than a lot of other areas. Then I pulled off the most rookie bail ever, pure comedy. The funniest part though was I couldn't find Rick. Did he go off trail? Was he still on trail? I had zero idea. So I kind of just moseyed my way along until I found him. The nice thing about speaking with somebody that knows what you're doing in Whistler is they get to give you all these cool pointers. He's giving me these little pow session. He's giving me these little hints on where all the pow areas are. Now if you have kids, this area is pretty cool because it's got this neat tunnel and my son loves ripping through it. And I have to admit, I find it pretty fun too. This is going back into the uh, slower area, close to the chairlift. hug the side here because it's always got everyone's uh, kick up from carbon and I find it uh, fluffier and squishier on the way back. A lot of times when I'm not skiing on uh, steep areas, my ankles, a lot of times my ankles just prefer skiing on steeper areas. So if I can get some squishy flat stuff, I'll take it over the carbon. Check out these lines. Like, could you ask for anything better? Look at this bluebird day, middle of January. We're on a Thursday. There's no one. We ski non stop this entire time, six hours straight. 